Hello my fellow hollowed hunters, this is the Souls Fanatic, and this here is my second video in a soul specific DIY. And today I will be making the dagger from Dark Souls. A small disclaimer before we begin, I will be using power tools and I am not responsible for any injuries you may cause to yourself or to others. Please research the proper tool etiquette and safety before using any tools you are unfamiliar with. A list of materials is provided in the description below. For the wood carving, I will be using poplar, however you can use whatever wood you prefer. A good substitute if you're uncomfortable working with wood, I'd recommend green insulation foam, which can be easily cut and carved with a box knife. First things first, you want to cut out your template and sketch it onto the wood. Once that's done, use the clamps to secure it on the edge of a sturdy surface. Then take the jigsaw and slowly cut out your design. Be sure not to put your hands in the path of the saw, take off any jewelry, and contain or tie back any long hair. To avoid having to cut along the whole length of the wood, use the drill to punch a hole to start the saw closer to your design. Also be sure to pick up any stray pieces so you don't slip on them. Once you've cut out your design, you may notice some rough edges. Just use the shavers to even them out. The gray one is for flat surfaces, and the yellow one is for curves. You may use the Dremel with a long cylinder cutter or a sanding head to help get the tough to reach corners. Step 2, the blade angle. This particular dagger has a fuller blade, which means the slant goes from the fuller to the dagger's side midline thing. To draw the side midline, take a ruler of some sort and measure the exact center marking it with a pen. Also make sure you have traced the fuller in the center of the blade on both sides. Use the shavers and the dremel to start shaping the wood with the blade slant from the fuller to the side midline. You're going to have to do this on both sides of your blade. And be sure not to make it sharp yet. Leave a little space near that side midline. We will sharpen the blade edge later. Step 3, the blade thickness. Wood boards are often 2 centimeters thick, so I normally make my blade 1 centimeter thick to give a little contrast between the blade and the hilt. This is of course going to have to be done on both sides, so that means I will take off half a centimeter on both sides of my blade. To start, I took a thick cylinder cutter and used its edge to carve out a trench where the blade meets the hilt. Then take the flat shaver and shave down the blade till it's even with the trench. And use sandpaper on a hard flat surface to ensure an even surface. Step 4, the fuller. Now the fuller is this small trench that goes along the central spine of the blade. And to carve this out you're going to need a curved chisel. You 
You're just going to take that chisel and hammer along the fuller to knock out chunks of wood. So you're going to take your template and retrace the fuller onto your flattened blade. Then use a clamp to hold the dagger steady. You may have noticed that when flattening the blade it got rid of the slant. So back to step 2 and shave the blade from the fuller to the side midline thing. Step 5, the handle. The dagger has an oval handle, so all you have to do is take sandpaper and sand down the edges. I will also be cutting out this third ring to make that upper segment. Use the thick Dremel cutter to cut the trench similar to that in step 3. I use the curved shaver to wear down the edges, then hit it with the sandpaper. Now with the Dremel you want to be careful not to cut the upper segment. Once that's done, I just sanded the handle again to clean up the rough surface left by the Dremel. Step 6, tapering the hilt. So for this you want to make the hilt thick near the blade and thinner near the far ends. I kept it 2 centimeters in the center and tapered it down to a half a centimeter at both ends. It 
You're going to want to take a pen and do some measurements to find that side midline similar to step two. Then draw out the full taper like this. Step 7, Engraving. Now we can engrave the patterns into the wood. You're going to take this disc dremel bit and very carefully carve out these rings around the handle of the dagger. And for these arrow shapes on the hilt, you just want to touch and off. Now unfortunately I lost the footage for this. I promise to be more careful in the future. Step 8, the pommel. So for the pommel, you can see that it is much thicker than the actual dagger, and this is because I glued some scrap wood on the end. Then shaved it to shape and sanded it down into a spherical oval. You can use the thick cylinder cutter dremel bit to take off the wood quicker. We have our flat pommel. And our scrap wood pieces. You want to make sure they fit nicely. And if they don't, sand them down to shape. Then you can take a strong wood glue and stick on your scrap pieces, making sure the glue spread evenly. You're going to need to hold and press it for about 10 to 20 minutes. Now after shaving down your pommel, we're going to use the thick cutter to flatten a ring around the base of the pommel. Then you're going to want to measure a line around the flattened base. Mine, I think, was 0 0.7 centimeters. And after that, use the disc and thick cutter to give depth by cutting down the pommel so that the flat ring sticks out.
Next, you want to draw cross sections of the side midline and central axis of the blade to get a better measurement on the pommel's design. It's hard to see in game, but the pommel has this eye shape that starts at the central line and meets at the other, passing through the halfway mark of the side midline. You should end up with something looking like this. Now we're going to take the disc and engrave that eye shape. You may want to clamp down your project so you can focus on not straying off the line. Once that's done, just sand away your guidelines. Now, do you see this here? This is a chip I accidentally cut out with the Dremel. If this happens, you can use the wood filler to fill in the cracks. This is an unnoticeable fix if you're just going to spray paint over it. But, if you're going to use a stain, you'll need to use a special wood filler that matches the color of the wood or the stain. Alright, take a toothpick and fill any unwanted crevices with the wood filler, smoothing it out with your finger. You will have to wait a half an hour for it to dry. Step 9, finishing touches. Now we're finally going to sharpen the blade. Take some sandpaper, wrap it around a file, and just sand away the edge of the blade to your desired sharpness. Once everything is finished, you're going to have to sand the entire dagger with coarse grit, a medium grit, and a fine grit sandpaper. After you're done doing that, take your two stains, one dark, one light, and an old rag. Using the dark stain, we're going to draw that pattern seen on the handle of the dagger in the game. Be sure to test your stains on a scrap wood before applying it to your project. Every wood, even if it's the same wood, stains differently. We'll also use dark stain to get the top of the pommel. You can use a straight edge to get into the small engraved crevices, as well as refine your handle's pattern.
Next, take the light stain and coat the remaining handle. Note that staining over stain may cause the two to get fuzzy. If you don't like that, you may have to use the dark stain to refine your pattern. This will take an hour or two to dry. Once it is dry, we can start spray painting the hilt and pommel ring. But first, you will need to use masking tape to cover anything you do not want spray painted. So wrap the entire blade and use an X-Acto knife to cut away the tape that is covering the part you want painted. You're going to then wrap the handle. And then also wrap the pommel. Make sure there's no holes in the tape wrap or else you'll risk painting something you didn't intend to. For my paints, I will be using a little bit of rusty red and primarily this black and gray. When painting, hold the dagger as far away as you can and give it light dustings of paint. Once you're done with the hilt and it has dried, unwrap the blade and wrap the hilt in pommel ring. And begin spray painting the blade first with a black. then with a metallic silver. While the blade is somewhat dry, you can wipe it with a dry cloth to give it some black undertone wear and tear. <laughs> you may need to do several layers of paint to get a nice even finish and hide the wood's natural look. But after all that, we finally have a Dark Souls dagger. Thanks for watching, and I have to apologize, this video was a little messy, so please help me out in the comments section. What should I improve on? Thanks again, and I hope to be making more soon.